In today's video, I will be showing you guys future plans as well as the placement of the downtown diner, which is a new addition to the city. Now, as you can see, I made that cool sign. Yeah, that's right. Made that sign. Lego sign, so when you walk in, the biggest of the brains will see the Lego uh, logo right there when you walk into the Lego city. So, starting off, we will be showing you guys the placement of the downtown diner. Currently, it retails for $170 US USD and I placed it right there for a couple reasons number one it fitted in really well with the Shell gas station as well as the newest creator expert modular building which is the Lego bookshop now I placed the diner there and I moved it around quite a few times and it has finally got its own home right there so as you can see right here I am going to add six base plates now I used my big brain I used a base plate to figure out how many plates I needed to be able to figure out how many I needed to order on Amazon so I will be ordering those very soon so Future plans. Well, as you all know, or most of you know, there is a new fairground set. And in my last update, as you can see, there is a sidewalk's been placed down. And I, I know there is a problem. There is a problem. I do have no space. There, it's not very much space available. So I will have to play around. Or maybe even put it over there by the soccer field. So there is also the new crocodile locomotive, which is also currently out of stock, as well as the haunted house, as well as the diner. And I was uh, luckily able to score and get it when it was on back order. The crocodile locomotive is just going to temporarily be on this track and sadly will collide with that 9 volt train. That'd be actually quite a cool video making two trains collide 9 volt versus the crocodile locomotive <laughs> I think I'm going to do that that's going to be super cool I'm going to have to set everything up in a separate room though in order to make everything work it would have to be a long straight track so this old train can get some momentum anyway so for future modular buildings which I'll be addressing later on also in this video is I'm planning to get old modular buildings and I'm planning to make a block right here and a block right here and then finish everything off have real modular buildings and a street right there even though there's no room I am moving soon in about a year or so so I know I need tables and I will get them very quickly there's a couple of advantages for having uh, Legos on carpet. Number one, if you're doing YouTube videos like me, you have aerial shots of your Lego city and it's a lot easier to reach to certain areas that are hard to reach if they're on tables, depending on how tall your tables are. If they're like three feet tall, they're, they're too high or something, you need a decent size is about three feet tall for Lego City. As you move on over here, uh, this is a sneak peek. I won't show you guys up front, but this is my mock that I'm working on. It is actually going to be a bike shop. And I will show you the front so you can see the bikes. Boom! Okay. Moving on. I am going to add skyscrapers to the city, and I even added that in my own channel description. So I was able to find those on sale for, I forgot how many cents they were off, but they, they were a pretty sweet deal. So I decided to get them, so I got some glass pieces. An example of them is 
there's glass windows right there. So the windows that fit in here, those glass pieces that fit in here, I ordered a bunch of those. I didn't order any frames though, so I need to order those, but I already spent too much money on them. And I ordered that in really transparent, just plain transparent windows, normal windows. And then I ordered uh, the blue color, the light blue. So that is on the way, as well as uh, this cool set. And I also saw, I think it was a review from Image Bricks. And I was so happy to explore on the LEGO VIP rewards section, and I found I could get it for free, and I'm like, I call dibs. And if you want to see that awesome review from MH Bricks, go on ahead. I'll link it in the description below, as well as the cards. So, another thanks to Bevan's Bricks, uh, for he was the one that allowed me to figure out that awesome LEGO deal that I was able to purchase for the city and skyscrapers will be added I don't know exactly where I'm planning to have it behind the modular buildings in a little further away so the module it doesn't take away from the modular buildings it looks normal but if I was to have a skyscraper right now the exact place I would put it is probably like back here uh, maybe just kind of in between here and the track even space uh, and a little further down over here, more towards the fairgrounds, right here, oh, right here, right, probably right there. I had something kind of right there by the this gas station and all these pieces, exactly where these pieces are, okay? That's where the things go in the, if I had a skyscraper right now. But sadly, skyscrapers cost $300 on average, depending if you get Lego deals, which is pretty, pretty good. So I will be getting $300 worth of Lego pieces and then building it. And maybe even do a live stream. So that is it for today's video. And thank you everybody for watching. And if you watched this far, Thank you very much for that helps me a lot with watch time hours which i'm trying to achieve and making my videos a lot more interesting so thank you for watching bye for now and peace out